So I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I didn't expect to make this video so soon. So what's going on guys, today's video is, is very different from what I usually do. First things first, this video is completely unscripted, so I'm, I'm, I'm going off the dome here. But first things first, we hit 1000 subscribers, which to me is crazy for a couple of reasons. One, I've been doing this for less than a year, I think maybe 10 months. And the fact that we got here so fast is nothing short of crazy to me because you know this is a milestone that it may not seem like a lot in the in the grand scheme of things but to me this is something that is is completely amazing because i've said this in a couple of videos but personally i really thought i would just hit maybe 100 and like then fade into obscurity but the fact that you kept enjoying my videos and gave me more incentive to make them and gave me motivation is is just amazing to me and it's it's also amazing because when i was younger maybe like you know maybe 10 or 11 i saw like all these great you know content creators and i thought man it'd be really cool if i could do that one day you know for some reason you know i never just for one reason or another i never really got into it but you know here i am over a decade later and now i'm able to say that as of today as of april 12th we are now partnered with YouTube, so you know we are we are now officially a monetized channel, which means a part of my of my income to sustain myself financially to create better content for you guys now comes from YouTube. Well, so I'm not really I'm not quitting my day job anytime soon, but we are we are now officially partnered with YouTube. We we are so official. All we need is a whistle. Like that's crazy to me, dude. And again i i can't thank y'all enough for coming along with me on this journey as i try to figure out what my channel is and figure out what i want to do again i i i'm just sitting here thinking like I, this this was this will always be crazy to me and of course you know in the future we have we have more goals today we're not done yet you know we still gotta hit 2k 3k 10k 50k like I'm definitely going to keep growing. I'm definitely going to keep grinding for y'all. But at the same time, I, I, just, I just wanted to stop and really appreciate this moment. Because yes, there are higher numbers, but I think this is where, you know, it, it's this is just the beginning, you know, because now when I was, you know, a smaller channel, maybe like 500, I was thinking like, man, it would be really cool to like, you know, have have some sponsors for some videos every now and then. You know, hopefully one day I would really love to, you know, get invited to a Square Enix event for a Square Enix premiere for, you know, another Kingdom Hearts game. Or I would love to, you know, be sent a game by Square Enix or Atlas or somebody, you know. And 1K is really where that all starts for me, you know. Because now that I know I can get here, there's no reason we can't keep climbing. And with y'all support and with y'all backing me, leaving all your all your great and amazing comments so supporting me i really feel like we can do this you know because this isn't just a, a victory for me i don't have 1000 however many subscribers there are 1000 plus members of this community and like i appreciate the number but more so than appreciating 1000 subscribers i appreciate each and every single one of you for choosing to click that button and support me and the channel and really helped me build this community that i've wanted to make for so long so i really can't can't thank you enough for you know you watching this video i can't thank you enough for supporting me i just wanted to interact a little bit with the community and like you know ask i have a couple people have some questions they wanted to ask me starting with drone president the control he has he has a couple of questions what was your favorite cartoon in childhood we gonna go in order that's actually really tough because i had i watched so many cartoons as a kid uh, I don't know why Shaolin Showdown was a cartoon that that always kind of stuck with me. You know, it like was it the best like you know narratively? Probably not. But there was just something about like the characters in the world that was just really fun to me. It was that American Dragon Jake Long kind of for the same reason until the art style changed in season two. Like I was I wasn't really a fan of that. But I don't know. Plus the theme songs were fire. 
but I don't know. I just, I, I really liked those shows. Maybe it was because I was a kid and they were bright and colorful and all that. But two, two cartoons that I will never forget are Teen Titans, like the original Teen Titans, and Avatar The Last Airbender. I know they may seem like, you know, basic picks, but hey, some things are basic because they're right, you know? Like these, these were really good shows when I was a kid. And I, they, I was watching Teen Titans recently, actually, and that, that, that holds up pretty well, like honestly. There are some lessons that I'm still learning from that show now, and I'm 22 years old. Now, what is my favorite band? That's an interesting one. Because I really enjoy, I guess this ties into the next question, which is what is your favorite music style? I really enjoy jazz, even though I'm not very versed in it. You know, I'm a classical music student, so I don't really know a ton about jazz. But I really enjoy Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers because they put out one of my favorite tracks. And that, that's a track called Monin. If you haven't listened to it, I would definitely recommend it. It's just so smooth and so nice. But... Yeah, that, that, I would definitely say that that's, that's definitely up there. Now, my favorite school subject is, you know, math, English, art. I'll see I'm a music student currently, so I'm inclined to say band. But excluding that, because I feel like I have a bias towards that, I would probably say it's, uh, oddly enough, it was English. Because, you know, back in the day when I was in high school, I say back in the day like that wasn't four years ago. Back in the day... I was not that good at analyzing things like at all like i was just i was terrible like if you if you read some of my essays back then like oof, you'd think something but for some reason just like diving a bit deeper into things was always really interesting even though the subject material may not have been as interesting i really enjoyed like analyzing things which is i guess something that made its way into this channel and again i appreciate you so great continuing like this i appreciate you I appreciate you coming coming along with me on this. Now, a question from R. Rich. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. Congrats on almost a thousand. First of all, thank you. I appreciate you. How did you get into Kingdom Hearts and what do you do? My student working and career goals and all that. So how I got into Kingdom Hearts, it's a little weird. So when I was younger, maybe like eight or nine, I went to Blockbuster one day. I saw this case with a boy and a key standing somewhere in the middle of the night. I was like, okay, that looks a little weird. I didn't know what anime was around that time, so I didn't really care. But I saw Donald and Goofy, and I was like, oh, okay, it's a Disney game. Let's go. So I picked that up, and then I only had like a week to finish it. And, you know, that was not happening. So I think I got up to like Hollow Bastion at some point. And, man, that, that was probably the most fun game I think I've ever played at that point. But then, you know, I, I brought it back to Blockbuster and didn't really think about it too much. But then maybe a couple years later, maybe like two years later, I picked up Kingdom Hearts 2 for the PS2. And that was the most fun game I've ever played up until the, well, up until that point, I guess. To this day, it's probably still one of the most fun games I've ever played. But it wasn't even because of the story because, you know, I, I never finished Kingdom Hearts 1. And I never played Chain of Memories. I didn't know that existed. Like, I never questioned why there was a group called Organization 13 that only had eight members, but it was just so much fun. Like, I loved playing through it. I think I, paid, I maybe put in 600 hours on my on the OG KH2. And I think, yeah, my favorite role was Lion King, too. That's crazy. But so, yeah, I, I played Kingdom Hearts 2 for, for years. But then what happened was, you know, since I'm currently I'm currently a music student, I'm actually about to graduate. But to be a music student, you have to like really put in a lot of time and effort. So maybe around like freshman year of high school, I really started focusing on music and practicing and all that. So I kind of like left the Kingdom Hearts community for a long time. So like I, I never really paid any attention to all that. I think I maybe picked up Birth by Sleep on the PSP and played through it and just like didn't really care about it. But I didn't really get back into Kingdom Hearts until like sophomore year of college, I mean, sophomore, junior year. That was basically like right when Kingdom Hearts 3 was about to release. So before it released, I caught up on like all the lore and played all the games. And then I played Kingdom Hearts 3. So that's that's kind of my journey through the Kingdom Hearts community. So I've been in the community since near the beginning, but I was never, I was not active in it for a long time, which is weird considering how active I'm in, it, how active I am in it now. But yeah, currently I'm a, I'm a music student about to about to graduate. I really want to work in a library one day. I'm currently working there now. It's it's really fun and I, I think I want to keep doing that for a while. 
And then the last question is from Isaiah Willie. Basic question, but other than Kingdom Hearts, what series do you play? I mean, I think that's a fair question. Uh, you've probably seen a couple of videos on the channel. I definitely, I really enjoy the Persona series. I got into Persona 5 maybe two years ago and have not looked back since. So that's really fun. Uh, recently, like I said before, when I was in, when I was like focusing on music, I didn't really play a ton of video games. But recently, I've been really getting back into the Final Fantasy series. Right now, I'm playing through the Final Fantasy 13 saga. But after that, I'm going back to play 10, 2, 7, 8, 9, and uh, I think I'm gonna play through 15 as well. So I'm I'm catching up on the Final Fantasy series for sure. But it's it's really fun. But other than that, I really don't have a certain series that I like. Oh, no, how could I forget? I love Pokemon, like honestly. So I started off with Pokemon Sapphire when I was a kid and then really got into it when Diamond Pro and Platinum came out. Like I think I bought all three copies of the game. And that's something that's like I've kind of stuck with. I think I maybe skipped. Uh, I, I never played Sun and Moon. But other than that, I think I've mostly played at least one title from every game. But that's that's it's weird that but that's kind of the series that kind of stuck with me for a long time because i guess it was sort of easily digestible maybe that's it i don't know but yeah to this day i really enjoy pokemon but it's probably it's something i want to keep to myself though I, I don't know if i'm ever going to bring it on the channel i might i'm definitely going to stick with jrpgs though and now that i'm finishing final fantasy expect some final fantasy content here pretty soon but honestly, that's going to be all for the questions. And for those of you who asked like Kingdom Hearts and JRPG related questions, I'm probably going to do a separate video just sitting down, going through and answering all of your questions for that. So make sure you look out for that as well. Trust me, I did not forget about you guys. But for now, again, I just got to say thank you so much to each and every one of you who subscribed to me and supported me and helped me get here. And if you know, if this is your first impression of me, if this is your first video you're seeing, you know, check out the channel. We do a lot of Kingdom Hearts and Persona here. We do a lot of JRPG analysis and theories. And I'd appreciate if you came along with my journey just like the rest of us. And I promise we have one of the best communities on the face of the internet. And I'm not capping when I say that. But to close this video off, I gotta say, again, from the, from the bottom of my heart, to each and every one of you, to you watching this video, you can't see it, but I'm pointing at my screen right now uh thank you so much so we've got a lot coming we got a lot we got a while to go but we're gonna keep pushing and i thank each and every one of you for keeping me motivated to do that but for now this is moose wayne signing off